Welcome to Sherry Gallery's new exhibit with Mark Petrovic and Kari Russell Poole, titled Navigating. Let me give you a tour. Sherry Gallery is so proud to represent Mark and Kari, two magnificent artists who graduated from the Cleveland Art Institute and have been working as independent artists for over 30 years. Kari creates her work using a technique called lamp work, where she forms the, the leaves, the petals, the whole lattice and her sculpture over a flame. She has achieved international status as one of the leaders in her field. This is a new direction for Kari, where she's actually drawing with powdered glass, moving it and scooting it into her drawing. This piece is about forgiveness. Mark takes a more conceptual work, approach to his work. He's an incredible glass blower able to achieve anything that is in his head to help him create the story. This body of work that we're mainly showing here is from his map series. Lake Erie Lifeboats. This work of Mark's is created by encapsulating air that he traps by branding the glass when it's hot, leaving an empty cavity of a letter and the way the light reflects through the glass ball, you can read what he has to say. In their absence, their presence is known. Such a powerful work. He created a couple smaller pieces these bottles, vessels, where you can see love. Another boat wall piece using maps to symbolize our navigation. This is a favorite, a gallery favorite, people coming through the gallery, the old ship in the bottle. The magnificent work of Kari's. You just feel like you can pick and eat those blackberries. This piece has four birds, Mark blows the birds for Kari, and then she uses them in her sculpture. That's magnificent. Kari did a series of bird cages, talking about family, children, and motherhood, using the birds and the cages as symbolism. Couple more pedestal pieces of Kari's. You can see Mark's bird. She's famous for her teapots. This one takes the cages and the teapots together. One of Mark's roll-up birds, he calls them. So he created thousands of canes of glass, creating what they call Murini pattern that he then can pick up and sculpt into the bird. Like I said, Mark is one of the most talented glass blowers. I love how his work makes you pause and think and really kind of just sit with its absolute beauty. 
tying our lives to nature and stop and think about the journey and how we navigate it. This piece really plays with the light. There are like 30 some lenses that magnify and reflect. This is one of the largest bird pieces. The tablet is actually what he used to sculpt the bird from. So he left one tablet flat and the other to create the bird. Unbelievable detail and patterning. He sets the eyes in the bird and works the beak and just has this sensitivity that you can really feel. This is another uh, new work by Kari. These are from her coloring book. series. A large, I call it a blue jay. This has been a very successful series for Mark. There are many included in many exhi museum exhibitions, including the Corning Museum of Glass. They're recognized for their beauty and mastery. Another piece from Mark Kari's brand new work, talking about forgiveness. The coloring book series. One of the most recent pieces from Mark, one he just completed. This is actually of the Cleveland shore, you can pick out landmarks from Cleveland. And a beautiful bird. Thank you for joining us.